The world's substances come in all shapes and sizes. Some are created by scientists in a lab, and some are mined out of the earth. They are used to power great industrial equipment, solve health issues, look fancy in front of our friends, and even develop an indestructible shield for Captain America. Now, we know Captain America's shield is made of vibranium, and unfortunately made up in a comic book, but there are many other substances out there that will force you to sell the farm before you can get your hands on them. Most expensive substances in the world. Saffron, five to ten dollars per gram. The first substance on our list is saffron. While saffron is mostly known for its uses in cooking spices, perfumes, and clothing dye, saffron actually has many health benefits as well. Saffron has a rich history spanning back thousands of years. Romans were believed to not only take saffron-infused baths, but even sleep on saffron-stuffed pillows to try and cure hangovers. It is the dye of choice for Buddhist priests and for royal garments in other cultures. Some have even used saffron for perfumes and cosmetic products. Cleopatra, ruler of the Macedonian dynasty and known for her beauty was said to have taken saffron infused milk baths to make her skin lighter and smooth currently the major suppliers dominating the trade of this versatile substance are located in Iran, Spain, India, and Greece. Believed to have originated from the Eastern Mediterranean, saffron is harvested from the purple crocus flower. It takes nearly 75,000 crocus flowers just to get one pound of saffron. What makes harvesting saffron such a tedious and strenuous process is that it has to be done by hand. No machines can separate the stigmas from the flower. That is why at between five and $10 per gram, Saffron definitely makes the list as one of the most expensive substances. Gold, $41.29 per gram. No one is turning down this substance on our list. Whether it's placed over an Olympic winter shoulder, buried beneath a red X on an old pirate's map, or even sitting at the end of a rainbow, gold is something that is sought after by many throughout time. Simply finding gold buried in the dirt has raised entire frontier communities that still stand to this day. Gold has been the cause of war and has changed civilizations throughout the world. At $41.29 per gram, Gold earns its spot on the list. But what makes gold so valuable? Silver and copper are much easier to find and have far more uses. While gold has been found on every continent in the world, it is still very rare. One reason gold holds its value is that it is much more appealing to the human eye than silver and copper. Gold is also much harder to destroy and doesn't rust from water. It spreads without cracking and stretches without breaking. Gold's timeless appeal has remained the same throughout history and won't likely be changing anytime soon. Platinum. $28 per gram. Coming in next on our expensive substances list is the heaviest of all precious metals, platinum. The name platinum comes from the Spanish word platina, which translates to little silver and has a variety of different uses. Platinum has many industrial uses due to its resistance to heat. It can be found in military aircraft, defense missiles, and car parts. Platinum also mixes well with silver and gold, making it valuable to jewelry makers and ornaments. Like many other substances on this list, platinum is extremely rare, more rare than gold even. There are only a few locations where platinum can be mined and most residing in Africa. It has been found in Egyptian jewelry dating all the way back to 700 BC at around $28 per gram. Platinum is deserved one of the most expensive substances in the world. Rhodium, $70 per gram. Next on our list is rhodium. Rhodium was discovered in 1803 by William Hyde Wollaston while experimenting with other South American platinum ores. For the most part, rhodium is used to make carbon monoxide and other gases less poisonous. The perfect application for this is catalytic converters on our cars today. It can also be used to coat silver and other jewelry. This helps with reducing tarnish and keeps it looking fresh. One of the reasons rhodium is so expensive is because it is extremely rare. It is mostly found in Africa and there are no pure rhodium mines in existence. It is only found in other metals such as platinum and nickel. Like gold, rhodium is appealing to the eye, which is always a good quality to have for making expensive jewelry. At around $70 per gram, rhodium makes the list. Jade, $100 per gram. When it comes to the price of jade, it's all in the details. Mostly known for its green shade, jade also comes in varieties of blue, red, black, lavender, and white. Many newly rich Chinese are stepping up their jewelry game with jade necklaces and bracelets resulting in the cost skyrocketing. At around $3,000 per ounce, jade is now far more valuable than gold. Rare Imperial Green Jade, a translucent stone that is very similar to fine emeralds, is currently the top dog. Myanmar is the biggest producer of jadeite in the world. It brings in over 50 billion a year and is half of the country's gross domestic product. In fact, in 2014, some small-scale miners unearthed a massive jade boulder weighing up to 200 tons and around 18 feet wide. It was worth so much money, the government had to send in troops to protect it. Understandable when you have a $170 million rock buried in the ground. Rhinoceros horns. 
$110 per gram. That's right, rhino horns are next on the list. The rhino horn trade is undoubtedly a very dark and sketchy world. While the sale of rhino horn is legal, poachers still use illegal methods that wipe out a large portion of the population for this valuable prize. A rhino horn can grow back if the horn is removed properly, yet poachers are much more likely to kill the animal first before hacking it off. Even with the great consequences of getting caught poaching, the juice is worth the squeeze for the most illegal hunters. A rhino horn can bring in an estimated 60,000 per kilogram on the black market. While it may be depressing and sad, rhino horns make the list. Plutonium, $4,000 per gram. I know what you're thinking. Didn't Norman Osborn's tech company use plutonium to create the Green Goblin in the Spider-Man movie? Unfortunately, like Captain America's shield and Wolverine's claws, it was made up in a comic book. In reality, plutonium is still used for some very sinister devices. Atomic bombs, hydrogen bombs, and other nuclear weapons use plutonium because of how volatile, reactive, and radioactive it is. While plutonium can be used for some crazy weapons, it does have other, less destructive purposes. As technology advances, plutonium will be used more and more as a source of nuclear energy and power. As you can imagine, the dangerous nature and disastrous consequences of plutonium make this an extremely expensive substance. Unless you are a scientist, a trained professional, or some type of terrorist, you can most likely keep the money in your pocket and live to spend another day. Painite, $9,000 per gram. Painite is an extremely rare crystal, and up until 2001, only three painite crystals were known to exist at all. Since then, there have been additional discoveries, but that doesn't change the fact that painite is super expensive. In fact, the 2005 Guinness Book of World Records named painite the world's rarest gemstone mineral. Like any gemstone, painite can be used for jewelry or other decors. But good luck getting your hands on it. Tophet, $20,000 per gram. As you can see, rare gems are found all over the top of the list for most expensive substances in the world. Tophet is no different. Tophet was named after its discoverer Richard Toff, an Australian gemologist who stumbled upon this great discovery. Tophet is formed in carbonate rock with a list of other substances. Sri Lanka, Tanzania, and China are all locations where this rare mineral has been discovered. What is the use of Tophet, you may ask? You guessed it, gemstone. Tritium, $30,000 per gram. Tritium, like plutonium, is used in things like atomic bombs and other weapons. But tritium also has many useful purposes. Tritium can be used as a light source when power is not needed or available. Devices like watch faces, rifle sights, and even exit signs are all handy ways that we have incorporated tritium into our everyday lives. While it can be a great source of light, tritium comes with a price. The demand for tritium in the year 2000 was around 400 grams for commercial use. At around $30,000 per gram, you don't want to be the one to have to cover that tab. Diamonds, $55,000 per gram. Diamonds are forever. At least that is what they tell us in commercials. Unless you have been living under a rock, you know exactly what diamonds are. If you have ever been in a relationship, there has probably been a time when you have either purchased diamonds for your significant other or received them as a gift. Happy days. There are many options when it comes to looking for a place to get diamonds. Jewelry stores, pawn shops, malls, and online stores are all at your disposal should you decide to purchase your loved one something special and memorable. You just have to be careful and avoid getting ripped off. Diamond mines can be found in around 35 countries, but are most common in Russia, Botswana, and South Africa. Wars have been fought and conflicts have been waged over the diamond trade, but that doesn't change how astonishing and desirable they can be. Diamonds are also the hardest substance on earth and are known to be unbreakable. Diamonds are great and all, but they are also super expensive. Coming in at around $55,000 per gram, you better bring your checkbook if you are looking to get your special someone a beautiful ring or necklace. Californium, $25 to $27 million per gram. You heard correctly, $25 to $27 million. Used for nuclear fission, this synthetic radioactive chemical element was first created at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in 1945. To produce californium, you need either a nuclear reactor or particle accelerator. Since there are only a handful of locations where such resources are available, you can imagine that californium is pretty hard to come by. If you are looking to buy californium, you are definitely not going to need an entire gram. Most purchases of this element are in micrograms and used as a neutron source. One microgram produces up to 170 million per minute. Currently, it is being employed for the purposes of identifying gold and silver ores using a technique known as neutron activation. You can also find it in other devices such as gauges used to find water and oil within wells. Antimatter, 62.5 to 100 trillion per gram. Just the name antimatter sounds like something you would hear out of an episode of Star Trek 
or to power the Millennium Falcon. But antimatter is actually a real substance that rains down on the Earth in cosmic rays and energetic particles. Studies have also shown antimatter to be produced from bananas. Antimatter is similar to matter. When the two of them meet, it causes them to annihilate into energy. There are practical uses for this elusive substance. The only problem is, the longest anyone has ever been able to hold onto it was for 16 minutes. Once they figure out this issue, the possibilities for antimatter are endless. Antimatter comes with a hefty price tag in the trillions, so save your pennies if you're thinking about picking some up anytime soon. Probably best to leave that stuff to the professionals. There are many other substances that can break your bank as well and see you thrown in jail. Illegal drugs such as methamphetamines, heroin, and cocaine can run you over $100 a gram. While Walter White from Breaking Bad seemed cool getting involved in those types of things, you will most likely find yourself behind bars before you know it. There are so many substances in the world today. Some are legal, and some are against the law. Some are dangerous, and some are beautiful. But if you want any of them on the list above, you're going to have to fork out the cash.